Wow. So there's our goose. That's had, this one's had three and a half hours at 180. And as you can see, it's absolutely amazing color. If you have a look in here, tray of fat is unbelievable. So what we'll do is we'll strain it off and cool it down. You can leave it in the fridge and have it for veg another day. So just being as careful as you can, maybe using a towel. You can put some tongs in the cavity to help you. Like that, lift up the bird and transfer it to a platter. Like that. Take your tray of fat out, being really careful. And leave it to cool down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cover the meat for about 20-30 minutes just to let it rest. And this just means that all those amazing juices that are still hot inside are going to have a chance to calm down, cool down and be absorbed back into the meat to make it as succulent and flavoursome as possible. If you cut into it now, they'll just all run out and, you know, you'll lose a lot of the flavour. So, not too tightly, you don't want it to sweat. You want to keep the skin nice and crisp. Just loosely cover the bird in some foil. And just due to the sheer size of it, that will stay hot now for about 20, 30 minutes. Right, so here's our goose. He's had 30 minutes to rest. I've cut away the string where it was trussed. And we're going to start with the legs and the thigh meat. And we're going to go oriental here. We're going to pull them off because they're super tender. They'll fall off and we're going to shred them with two forks. So literally, you can use a knife to help you a bit. Listen to how crispy that skin is. Just pull it away and look how well that's cooked. That should come away super easy. Just pull that away. And what you can do then is just take the meat straight to the platter and using your forks, literally pull it away. That way you're keeping your hands nice and cool as well, otherwise it'll still be really hot, you don't want to burn yourself. And you can shred it and look how tender it is, it's just completely falling apart. And you can leave it as chunky as you like. And this is where you need your carving knife. You've got the backbone here and you want to work down the middle. Put your knife, put your fork in. And use the bone as a guide. Try not to break too much of that amazing skin off. And just pull it away, push it away. So I'm just using my knife to guide along the bone there. As you can see, because it's cooked for long enough, it's absolutely just fallen away from the bone. So you actually shouldn't need to do much carving. You don't need to be the best carver to do this. You can almost push it away. And then the whole breast has almost come completely off. You should have to slice up the opposite direction and that will give you even portion size strips. Then everyone gets a lovely bit of crispy skin and everyone gets a lovely bit of tender goose like that. Okay, so we've stripped off the meat from the goose there. We're just finishing off with the last breast. And what you can do, you could serve it as is now perfectly and that would be wonderful. Or, if you want to get ahead of yourselves for the big day, what you could do is get all this lovely meat, put it back in your tray, and coat it with a bit of the fat that's come out and you've collected, and then cool it down and pop it in the fridge, and that will keep beautifully. Just make sure it's all coated in the goose fat. And then all you need to do is, on Christmas Day, put it back in the oven, and let it reheat through, and then just drain off that excess fat. But that coating will keep it really moist and delicious. And you know what? It's one less thing to worry about on the big day. And there you have it, perfect goose for the festive season.